Today, I'm super excited. We get to open some packs of 1991 Upper Deck Football. 1991 Upper Deck Football, one of my favorite cards, one of my favorite football cards for sure. And I remember as a kid absolutely loving 91 Upper Deck Football. It was the first time that Upper Deck made a football card. I had gotten into collecting football cards in 1990, and in 91, Upper Deck introduced and premiered their football card. And there's a, a lot of things I love about this card. They took the same formula that worked so well for, uh, for their baseball cards. They took uh, the same general kind of design, I think, uh, at least the, the design language that came in the 91 Upper Deck baseball cards and applied it to the football cards. I think it works fantastic. And um, one of the things that uh, they did in 1991, uh, they so they doubled down on, on a couple of things. They doubled down on Joe Montana. I'll tell you one thing. This box tells you that Joe Montana was their guy. He's on... Uh, both sides here, and boom, is <laughs> big, big photo here on the bottom. Uh, I've seen people cut these out and and frame them. Uh, unfortunately, 1991 was not a great year for Joe Montana. I think he was injured pretty much the whole season, uh, and in '92 he came back, but only briefly before I think they traded him to the Chiefs. So unfortunately, it wasn't his greatest season, but. As a 49ers fan, man, I just love Joe Montana. And one of the interesting things here, too, is that uh, there's there's actually two Joe Montana cards in the set. You see this one represented here on the box top, and that's card number 54. But then you also have this card right here, which is card number one. And they're both, if you look at the backs, they're, they're both... Uh, you know, same kind of format, stat cards. One's not a special card. So they issued two cards for Joe Montana. They actually did that with my favorite player as well, Barry Sanders. Barry Sanders got two cards in the, two base cards in the 91 Upper Deck set. This is not a complaint. This is something that I was super uh, ecstatic about when I found out too that there was more than one Joe Montana and especially more than one Barry Sanders. I remember as a kid, I actually had this card. I had I had managed to get this card, and then I remember seeing on a Beckett uh, magazine, uh, the cover page was Barry Sanders, and they had this card, and I was like, what? Sure enough, yeah, there's, there's two Barry Sanders cards. But not only that, not only that, there are actually, I believe, five... Barry Sanders cards in the set. We've got a Barry Sanders team MVP card, 458. We've got Barry Sanders season leaders, card 401. And we've got even a, a team card, an art card, and one of my favorite cards for the Detroit Lions. And there's Barry Sanders painted by Vernon Wells. Love that card. That's a beautiful card. I love those Vernon Wells art cards. So, Again, as a Barry Sanders being my favorite uh, football player at that time, couldn't go wrong with 91 Upper Deck because, man, it was just, it was loaded and it was just a beautiful card. I just love these cards. And so I'm really excited. I haven't gotten a chance to open packs of 91 Upper Deck since I was a kid. This is my first chance. I've got a brand new box sealed in the wrapper. You can even see the Upper Deck watermark. So this is original sealed. Not that these are hugely valuable, but man, I'm just so excited I get to open some 91 Upper Deck. So let's go ahead and tear into this. And as usual with a whole box, I don't think I'm going to do the whole box at one sitting. But I definitely want to get in and open a good chunk of these 91 Upper Deck football. So... They kind of went with a little bit more of a foil. Uh, the the other upper deck, the baseball cards, had a little paper element to the foil packs. But uh, so we're going to start out with a 
John Williams MVP. Bobby Herbert. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Derek Thomas art card. That's gorgeous. John Elway. Sweet. Warren Moon. Man, wow. First pack. Doing really well. And Pat Swilling, team MVP. Now, one thing I did notice is that uh, there's the the box in here is a little thinner than other uh, the pack boxes of the era. Um, so I looked it up, or I looked at it, and uh, it there's Andre Reed. That's a nice picture. Um, only twelve. There's thirty six packs, but only twelve cards per pack. So uh, kind of part of that whole uh, premium card, getting less cards per pack. Look at that, Junior Seau. Sweet. And a Warren Moon Team MVP. Loving it, man. This is, this is like back in the day, getting excited. So yeah, kind of uh, the the, what do you call it, uh, shrinkflation of its day, although that was part of the premium card thing too, giving you less cards, making the cards seem more valuable. And we've got a hologram here of Ernest Biner. I love these hologram cards. They're really hard to get in the light here, but uh, it's just those are nice cards. Thurman Thomas, Team MVP. Just love, man, Chris Carter. There's Randall Cunningham. Man, I love the love the photos. I mean, this was this was the the card for me back in the day. And Marcus Allen. All right, I'm just having a ball here. And uh, no gimmicks. Oh, look at that! Boom! <laughs> There we go. There's my my Perry Sanders card. All right. I think I think the other one I showed you. Let me see. I think this one is they they the double cards. I I've seen somewhere they're called promo cards, but they're part of the core set. So I really don't understand that. Maybe somebody if they know the history of that. I tried to find it online what the promo card really was because they're in the core set. But this is the supposedly the base card, I believe. And then we've got. Uh, is that Art Monk? Another art card. I love art cards. Well, I was saying though, is they don't throw in uh, the the kind of junk. Johnny Johnson. They don't throw in the junk like. Uh, I mean, I guess Upper Deck. You got some pretty cool stickers in the baseball cards, but uh, nothing but base. Nothing but football cards here. And for me, that's just fine. Just fine. I think uh, could potentially pull a Brett Favre rookie card out of here. Another uh, is that another Ernest Biner? Oh, well, look at that, Michael Irvin. It's a good one. Pat Swilling. Nice. Uh, these sideways cards too are neat shots. Well, they both had Rams in that one. Getting clobbered, I think. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Chris Dolman. And Sterling Sharp, team MVP. Brother of Shannon Sharp. I think Shannon Sharp said, even though he ended up having a longer, better career, Shannon Sharp said that his brother Sterling was the better player. Jerry Rice, team MVP. That's not a good one. There's William Perry. Oh, who do we got here? We got Anthony Miller, wide receiver. Another art card. Love these, man. I just love those. Richard Johnson. Dexter Carter. It's weird to see. I think that was Herschel Walker's number. See it on a different player. 
Oh, lost one. Wasn't anybody big. Oh, that crinkle too. Oh, we got uh, Andre Risen team MVP. Bad Moon Risen. Chris Miller quarterback. <laughs> Marion. Michael Kofer. And Lawrence Taylor. Beautiful card. <laughs> Sitting on his helmet on a football. <laughs> All right. Man. Now, as a kid, I think I might have been might have bought like one or two packs of these at a time. They were a little pricier than the cheap packs. Oh, well, they used uh, Martin Anderson on this art card. Cool. Um, but I would never have bought this many packs at a time. There's Randall Cunningham, Team MVP. So it's just a real privilege and pleasure to be able to, to experience that. Now there's Christian Okoye, another favorite player for me of that time. Howie Long. Cool. Mark Bravaro. Steve DeBerg. Okay. All right, here we got Star Rookie Randall Hill, Cornelius Bennett. Oh, Troy Aikman. There you go. Bert Grossman. Oh, there's Boomer Esiason. Oh, and there's one of those Barry Sander MVP cards. Cool. Love it, love it, love it. All right. Let's do, let's get a few more. Oh, we got another hologram card. Who's this? Oh, sweet. That's Barry Sanders. So there's a sixth card in the set. <laughs> I wasn't sure if this was core set or not, but that's sweet. Game breaker. Love it. Beauty. There's Anthony Miller, MVP again. Oh, who we got here? Johnny Johnson. Dave Craig. Anthony Miller. Anthony Carter. Jim Harbaugh. Later coach. And Anthony Carter, team MVP. <laughs> Team MVP checklist. Oh, I've not seen this card before. And who's on it? Dan Marino? Yeah. Well, that's a cool one. An interesting one. Eric Metcalf. And oh, there's that Joe Montana card. Beauty. Scott Davis getting some oxygen. Oh, Reggie White. There's a good one. And Dan Marino. Beauty. Look at that. You can tell it's snowing. Andre Bruce. And there's another Barry Sanders. Can never have too many of those, huh? Alright, let's do a couple more, maybe. Alright. Richard Johnson. John L. Williams. There's an interesting one. Keith Byers. Oh, lost another one. Okay. Let's see. Let's do four more. So, I'm not hitting as many on these latest ones, although there's a Warren Moon again. 
Vinnie Testaverde looking rather <laughs> dejected. Maybe that was not uncommon for him. And Dave Maggot. Oh, another hologram. Oh, and it's another Barry Sanders. <laughs> I will take it. I will gladly take it. <laughs> oh, and there's a Rod Woodson team card. Otis Anderson, MVP. Oh, John Taylor on another 49er. Great. Okay. We got two more. Oh, Rod Woodson, team MVP. Oh, we got Vinny on the on the Buccaneers. Remember them being a really awful team back then. Eddie Murray. And a Dan Marino, team MVP. All right, last pack of the day. 91 Upper Deck Football. Wow, just such a privilege. Glad that uh, this is stuff that I can still acquire and open, not feel guilty about it. Okay. Well, that was... That was a lot of fun for me. I really enjoyed 91 Upper Deck back in the day and even today. Still love this card. Still think it's one of the best football cards from that Junk Wax era that I was uh, I was collecting as a kid. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.